Hi everybody, in this video I will show you how I used Anki flashcards to ace the United States medical licensing exam simply the USMLE and so recently I passed the USMLE and I was talking on my channel about the resources that I used and some people um, were asking so I uh, told them that I used uh, UWorld First Aid Pactoma and Anki but um, a lot of people have not started using this Anki flashcard so I'm going to show you exactly what I did and how I use the Anki flashcards so uh, a lot of people contacted me and they were like hey Jerry I think I spend a lot of time doing the flashcards like first of all you need to create it by yourself and so like what do you suggest for me I'm going to address that in this video I'm also going to show you where I get those information for and how I add the information to the to the Anki the flashcards also I'll talk about um, what you should do differently from other people now if you are writing the USMLE Anki is a friend that you should um, learn you should use you should learn to add to your uh, study materials and um, also if you're writing any professional exams be it the NCLEX the MCAT or any exams in the world and you need a tool for space repetition then you want to try Anki um, studies have also shown that students who do Anki flashcards have done very well well it's not like Anki flashcard but students who have done flashcards in general uh, do better than other students so yes you want to really use the flashcard because it helps with space repetition of information that you have seen before but you don't know them vividly now it is important to add things that you do not know and you feel that may worry you in the future or you might forget you want to add those information to your flashcards and um, there are some pre-made flashcards that you can download onto your uh, Anki and then keep seeing them but for me I made my personal flashcards I think that is very smart because it allows you to see through the information and add information that you are likely to forget or things that are difficult for you but with a pre-made deck it's also diluted with information that you know already and time is very vital you don't want to spend so much time seeing things that you know already so um let's get straight into this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe now and share this video with your friends as well so that you are a blessing to them as well and also comment on this video and tell me what I should have done differently and give me suggestions also so let's go straight to the video so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I make my flashcards and um, why I'm doing this video is that after I took my step one and step two I advise people in my other videos that I use the flashcard for space repetition and a lot of people have reached out to me that they don't know how to do the flashcards and also um, those who are doing it they said they waste a lot of time so I'm going to show you how I do it in order to uh, save time and I'll show you how I do it from my books and also from the flashcards and um, that is um, something that um, you should incorporate in your studies it's very important. Um, so I went to get my old cell phone um, so that I can use that whilst I use the new one to record this video. Um, so first of all, um, what you want to do is um, you want to download the Anki flashcards. As you can see, this is the Anki flashcard here. And so I open it and then you can go here. When you get to profile, you can click on add and then you can add any flashcard. You can name it whatever you want. So let's, let me name it um third okay and so if, if, when i get this i'll open the third and now i can add flashcards so I click on default and i can add flashcards so my first flashcard is gonna be here so add so now let's go back to for example if i'm doing you world questions um so uh, i'm gonna use my previous questions um in this blog so for example like you see in this blog like i'm getting everything correct here but it doesn't mean that i shouldn't do flashcards for them 
Um, so let me, I'm going to choose one of the incorrect questions so that I use that rather for you guys to see. So I'm going to open this. And so, um, as you can see, the question reads, um, so which of the following is the best next step in the management of uh, this patient? A 42 year old woman comes to the office for a routine examination. She is sexually active with a male partner and underwent tubal ligation for contraception. The patient has no, has had no uh, abnormal bleeding or a uh, recent changes in weight. Menses are regular last three to five days. Her last menstrual period was three weeks ago. Ten years ago, the patient had genital warts, um, successfully treated with laser ablation. Uh, pap tests have been normal to date. She has no other serious medical illness and or surgeries and takes no medications. She has a family history of hypertension, has no a history of cancer. Pelvic examination shows a normal cervix without any uh, visible lesions. A well, sorry, a small antiviral uterus and no adenexal masses. The pap test shows atypical glandular cells. Which of the following is the best next step in the management of this patient? So you can see, obviously I missed this question and they said endometrial biopsy is the um, answer to this question. And then they have gone ahead to explain why that is the answer. So atypical glandular cells on a pap testing may indicate what cervical or endometrial adenocarcinoma. So that is why, because there's a cancer, that is why we are doing endometrial biopsy for this patient. So first of all, this is where the Anki comes in. So in order to make a flashcard from this Anki, sorry, in, in order to make a flashcard in Anki for this question, what I'll do is that, as you can see here, it has front, you can see front and back. So at the front, I'm going to ask myself a simple question in order to save time, right? You don't want to write a lot. So, so all I'll say is that um, atypical, or just write here, atypical cells, cells, sorry, um, let me write here so you all can see, atypical cells on pap test. And all I'll do it, I'll say next best next step BNS. So this is me BNS. So the answer should will be at the back if you can see. And um, best next step is endometrial biopsy, as you can see. So right here, endo, endo. Sorry, so I need to really yeah, endometrial biopsy like that so that is the answer you all see it so now if there is a table for example that i need to add as you can see there's a table in this in this right so all i need to do is um I, if the table is relevant to my flashcards um i'll i'll press the return button here you see and then i'll take a photo so it's it will say um, I'll go here, if you can see, add file, and I'll click on it, and it will say from camera, and it to come here, then I'll take a photo of this onto my flashcard photo. So as you can all see, onto my, and I'll go to use photo. So now, this photo is part of my flashcards, and I can view this, like this, and this is the back of it, so the question will come, atypical cells on endometrial on pap test best next step so the answer will be endometrial biopsy and i have access to what the table as well and then the explanation as well down there and so this helped me so if i flip over this is the question right and if i flip this is the answer so this is a simple way that i do it fast and i don't have to write so i'm going to click on save don't forget to save so now you have it now, if you want to add more, you can add. 
Now also remember that when you finish this, you are not done. You also want to read the incorrect questions. And if there is anything that you want to take, you take from it. If it's necessary, you put it in the flashcard. You can also put it in the flashcard. Now, another thing that you want to do is that the reason why you got the question wrong, you can also put it there and say, okay, this is why this is not the answer. You can put it in your flashcard so that next time you don't uh, miss it. Now, another way you can also do is that after, let's go to the next question. Um, next question. Okay, let me use this question. Okay, so now they've given me this question and then they've given this, right? They've given this image and I know the answer is Achalasia. So it's another thing you can do. You ask your questions. So if your question is what I can do this, I can just in the front of the page, I'm going to go to add media, right? Or first of all, I'll write here diagnosis. Just write diagnosis and put a question mark sign on it. And then you come down return and you add media here and I'll take a photo of this. That is it. And I use right so if i take a photo so this is the photo plus the question is my question right then i'll come down here to the back this is the answer the back will be the answer and i'll just put a calisia a calisia a calisia where is it good good like that so a calisia oh my god i'm getting the spelling wrong like that right Okay, pardon me if I get it wrong, but let's learn from this, okay? Um, yeah, so after that, I'll save it. So you can add as many as you want. Now, if I come to the, if you are doing step one, if you are doing step one, Pathoma, if you have Pathoma book or PDF, there are lots of images in it. If you are someone who is not conversant with the images, you can also and um, when Pathoma is doing the videos, you can add these images to your flashcards for the sake of space repetition. So that anytime you see them, you will be able to remember them until you write your exams. Um, another thing is that you can take a picture of a whole Pathoma page into your flashcard. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Let me use the first aid for that. I do this a lot for first aid. Because there are some topics that are so important in, in first aid that they are, and then they are numerous and I always want to have them in my flashcard. Like look at this page. This page, for example, these are the immunodeficiency disorders. Every exam is going to have a step one, step two, step three. Both, all of them are going to have it. So what I'm going to do is that if I meet a question or if I'm reading first aid, and I come across this page. So what I'm going to say is, for example, if you look down here, they have, they have, um, if you look here, they have um, leukocyte adhesion disorder, right? So I'm just going to ask myself a simple question from that. Um, I'll say, okay, a defect in CD18. So I'll just come to Anki flashcards and say, defect in CD, CD18 is seen in what? What condition? So this is my question. Now I'll come to the back and put the answer there. But in this case, what I'm going to do is that because I want to see everything from the book again, I want to see a skid, I want to see a tactile angiectasia, I want to see hyper IgM syndrome with Scott Aldrich is there. So the page is very high yield. It's not only the question that I ask, or it's not only the leukocyte adhesion disorder that is the answer. So what uh, that is what I'm looking for. So first of all, my answer is leukocyte adhesion disorder right and i'll come down and then take an image of the whole page like that and add to it 
you all can see. So the whole page is in my flashcard. And then I will save, if you can see it. The whole page is in my flashcard. And I can save. So this is how I do my flashcard so that I don't waste time. So right now I've done a lot of flashcards already. I have all these things in my flashcard, but if you were supposed to be typing them, you how long is it gonna take you to type all this? So, and this method works for me. Now I'm going to go back and show you guys the flashcards that we just created. So this is the first flashcard that we created, atypical cells on pap test, best next step, endometrial biopsy. And then you, ha you also have explanation there that you can do. Now, this is done. Now, if it's easy for you, you choose that it's easy for you. If you want to see it again, you say, okay, one, I want to see it again in one minute. If it's hard, you want to see it again in six minutes. If it's not, if it's good, you see maybe in about 10 minutes because this is the first time you are doing it. If it's very easy, four days. If it's very easy, we'll see it in four days. So I'm just going to say one minute. Then the next card will come. And if you just click on this side, you see the answer. So there was a diagnosis. We just made the card. So we know that it's achalasia. And so we just click here and then it goes away. CD18 is a defect. It's seen in what? Leukocyte adhesion disorder. So we see it now. We can have access to the whole book. So if you do this for the most high yield pages that you are likely to forget, um, you can always have them in your flashcards and then you do space repetition for them. So at the end, this whole page in the book is going to stick in your mind and then you will be able to do very great. And let me tell you about the flashcard. So with the Anki flashcards, it's free on your laptop. If you if you use the web, the web on your laptop, it's free. Um, if you also want to download it onto your cell phone, it's the best for me. Because even though it costs money, you can check it. I think it costs like $28, but it's worth it. You are investing your money and then later on you will make it back after you pass your exam and you are practicing. So yes, so I must say I'm grateful for you watching this video. Share this video with your friends so that they also um, learn something from uh, my video and um, it will help all of us. So keep studying hard doing uh, space repetition is very important remember that adding more information every day it's not the best strategy the best strategy is the best strategy is repeating those info repeating them over and over again you know you have to repeat the information over and over again that is what helps and make sure that you designate a time in a day like two hours to four hours every day to do flashcards very very necessary very important don't go a whole day like don't go about three days without doing flashcards as your flashcards grow you, sh you should also grow in knowledge as your flashcards become more you should have more time for them because you have more information in the flashcards that you should know rather than looking for new information. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you again. You are going to be successful in your exam. You will do great. Bye.